Good morning. I'm Anna Cabot in the First Floor Weather Center with a look at your forecast today. We are continuing to warm up a bit more with that ridge of high pressure. Temperature should increase by a good three to six degrees across the region. That marine layer also thinning out with rising heights. As we get into tomorrow, temperatures continuing to increase. The coastal areas just above average slightly. The interior, though, very, very hot. It is excessive heat, and we are seeing warnings for that. We do have this tiny, tiny chance of monsoon flow. However, that is dissipating. We're looking at a non zero chance just above it, so it is going to be very unlikely. We'll get any of that activity with it pushed further to the east. However, as we get into Saturday, this ridge of high pressure continuing to push further to the west. So we are seeing this sea breeze keeping the coastal areas just a little cooler. That's going to stall your warming trend, but the interior, interior areas continuing to heat up all the way through the weekend. Looking at this excessive heat warning, this has been upgraded from a watch. This is in San Luis Obispo County in the interior areas. Also the Cuyama Valley temperatures up to 110 degrees. So if you do have to spend any time outside. Make sure you're staying hydrated, taking regular breaks and staying in the shade if possible. Looking at the forecast today on the south coast, your temperatures are in the 70s, 79 in Santa Barbara, just a tad below that in Montecito. In the Santinez Valley, you're in the upper 80s to those low 90s. The central coast in the 70s for the most part with a couple low 80s on the board. And then Paso Robles, Atascadero, you're looking really, really hot today. 103 if you're in Paso, so certainly a very hot already in those interior areas. Ventura County, same with you. You've got the 80s to the 90s in the interior, but the 70s to those low 80s across coastal and valley areas. Have a happy Thursday.